All right, we got the name? Okay, Jason. go ahead, I'm sorry. Jason T. Davis. All right, okay, action. These are the altars of this parish's last priest. And this one is Father Fisher's. Okay, but how did this help me? See these candles? They're lit. We don't light them. He's here. All right, cut. Alicia? Yes. Am I glad to meet you? Hi. I'm Elliot. I've been working here for about six months, and it hasn't been that exciting. You see, around here, the history of Anaheim centers around one thing. The place where the guy with the big ears lives, whose name you're not allowed to say because it's not in public domain even though it's been over 80 years. But, since Celia asked me to look into a mayor of Anaheim living at your address, whew, I found out so much information about your house and this mayor. Let me give you the background. During a good part of the 20s, the Ku Klux Klan controlled Anaheim city government and nearly controlled the politics of all of Orange County. In 1924, they were elected to four key council seats. Dean Hassan, Emery Knipe, William Slebeck, and Elmer Metka. And these psychologically maladjusted, economically and socially unsuccessful individuals all of a sudden found themselves in full power of Anaheim. 